In this video we're going to do example 10 and 11 so I'll go over example 10 we'll do this one together step by step and then hopefully you can do 11 by yourself. So please write this down 7 minus 5 times 3x minus 1 is less than negative parenthesis x plus 2. Okay so please write this down. Now the <coughs> there's a common error here and I want you to tell me what's wrong when a student looks at the 7 minus 5 and says that that's 2 right so this is is this correct or not and why not can you just take the 7 minus 5 and get 2 why or why not so you understand what we're doing it's about understanding what we're doing so you might have heard a little thing called PEMDAS. Okay. And PEMDAS always applies when we're simplifying something. Okay. So the thing about PEMDAS is we've got to do parentheses first. Now inside the parentheses there's a 3x minus 1. These are not like terms so we actually can't subtract to get a 2x or anything like that inside there. So we try to do parentheses but, but we can't because there's no like terms inside parentheses there's no exponents but there is a multiplication you see because this is actually negative five times everything in here so we have a multiplication and we need to do that before we subtract see subtraction comes at the end right but we have to multiply before we subtract okay so the trick here is this cannot become a two because you would be not be following PEMDAS. You've got to multiply the negative 5 in everywhere first. Okay? So go ahead and apply the distributive property and then add like terms. So the other way to remember it is just look, it's distributive property, then add like terms, and then solve it, right? So apply the distributive property, and what do you get? Negative 5 times 3x is what? And if you want to, you can change that subtraction to plus negative. Now it says 7 plus negative 5 times this thing. Okay. So negative 5 times 3x gives negative 15x. Negative 5 times negative 1 plus 5. Okay. And we can just write this 7 down. Okay. And what about this side? What do you do to the right hand side? That's a negative outside of a parenthesis. Do you remember how to deal with that? So if you just have a negative outside parenthesis, there's just one bag. We just have one bag, right? So what do you do? Put a one. Put a one here. And now it's negative one times everything. Okay. So what do you get? negative x or negative 1x and negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2 okay so we've applied the distributive property now we're going to add like terms can you see any like terms on well there's no like terms over here because we just have an x and, an, and a 2 right so x and ne negative x negative 2 what about the right of the or the what about this side of the equation? Do we have any like terms here? Can you see the seven and five? Right? So we add those guys together, right? Seven and five is twelve. So we have a positive twelve, we have a negative fifteen x. So we've added like terms. We've added like terms, right? So we've applied the distributive property on the first step, then we added like terms. Now we're going to solve it. Press pause and solve it from here. You can do it from here yourself. Press pause and do the rest. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So what I like to do is I like to get rid of this guy, this x term first. So I'm going to add one x to both sides. But of course, there are other ways of doing it. 
So 12 comes down, negative 15x plus 1x, that's 15 negatives, 1 positive, that's, uh, sorry, negative 14x. Okay, and we have a negative 2 over here. So I have an x term here, I have a number here and a number here. I'm going to keep the x's on one side and get the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to get rid of that number. So how would you get rid of the 12? Subtract 12, right, from both sides. So on the left I have negative 14x. And on the right I have <coughs> negative 2 minus 12. In debt $2, subtract $12. In debt $14, right? And by the way, I added to both sides, inequality stays the same. I subtract from both sides, inequality stays the same. And again, like the inequality is going to stay the same direction all the way down until you come to dividing, and it's only when you divide by a negative. Divide by a positive, everything is fine, okay? But it's just when you divide by a negative, you might have to you change direction. So there's a reminder of that, right? So we can add to both sides, we can subtract from both sides, we can divide by a positive, and that's okay. But when we divide by a negative, we must change direction, okay? Okay, so it's four, negative 14 times x is less than negative 14. To get x by itself, we divide by what? Divide by negative 14, right? And if you do that to that side, you're going to divide by negative 14 on this side as well. So what happens? So you get a positive 1x, or x here. What do you get on the right? Negative over negative, positive, 14 over 14, 1. So you get a positive 1. And what do you do with the inequality sign? So when you divide by a negative, the inequality sign changes direction. Okay, so it's x greater than 1. Now put that on a number line real quick here. Here's 0, here's positive infinity, here's negative infinity. What does that look like on a number line? So we got 0, 1, 2, and negative 1 is over here. But x is greater than 1 means that 2 works, so does 3, so does 4, in fact so does 1.5, and in fact so does, you know, 1.01, uh, .01. that also works, right? And 2.5 and 3.5 and all the decimals in between. So all these guys are bigger than 1. And do we need a square bracket or a parenthesis at the 1? We need a Parenthesis, right? So parenthesis at the one when it's greater, right? Okay, so example 11. Please write this down and then do it yourself. 9 minus 4 times x minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative parenthesis x minus 20. So please press pause, write the thing down, and just do it all yourself. And then check the video for the answer. Please also graph the answer on a line graph. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So the first thing to be aware is you don't do 9 minus 4 gives 5. You've got to apply the distributive property first, okay? And in fact, you've got to multiply in by a negative 4. So we don't go 9 minus 4 is 5 because you're not following PEMDAS, the order of operations. You can't subtract first of all. You've got to do parentheses. Now inside that parentheses there's an x minus 2, but you can't subtract those because they're not like terms. An x minus 20, they're not like terms either. There's no exponents, but we do have a multiplication. And we've got a multiplication here, negative 4 times multiplies in with the distributive property and we also got to multiply inside here as well. So we've got to do the distributive property first because of PEMDAS and then we add like terms and then we solve. Okay. So you multiply in with the distributive property negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Did you get that? And negative 4 times negative 2 plus 8. 
What do you get on a uh, nine comes down, right? What do you get on the right side? That's a negative outside of a parenthesis. So there's how many bags do we see there? I mean there was four bags here, we're subtracting four bags, but here there's only one bag. So you can put negative one outside there and multiply in with a negative one. Okay, and what do you get? Negative one x and then negative one times negative twenty plus twenty. Okay. Next step is add like terms. So what like terms do we have? By all means press pause and continue from here if you if you want to do that. Press pause and go from here see if you can get the answer. Okay, so next step is we need to add like terms. You got a nine plus eight. What does that make? Seventeen minus four x is greater than or equal to negative one x plus twenty. Now what? Well there's a number of things you can do. You can subtract seventeen from both sides, add four x to both sides, add one x to both sides, or subtract twenty. I like to get rid of that x term first. So I like to add one x to both sides. Okay. If we added 1x, what would we get on both sides? Write it down. So you get 17 minus 3x greater than or equal to 20. So we added to both sides, the inequality stays the same direction, right? Now what? So you've got an x term, and you've got a number here and a number here. What do you do now? <coughs> so why not get rid of that 17 so that you just have an x term on the left, right? So how would you get rid of that 17? You'd need to subtract 17 from both sides, right? Okay, what do you get on both sides then? So a negative 3x on the left and on the right, 20 minus 17, positive 3, right? Now you subtract it from both sides, so inequality stays the same direction. But what's the next step? Take the next step now. It's negative 3 times x, so to undo multiplying you got to divide by negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3, right? So what do you get? Positive x on the left, and what do you get on the right? It's a positive over negative, that's a negative sign, and 3 over 3 is 1. We divided both sides by a negative. What do you do with the inequality sign? Change direction. x is less than or equal to negative 1. So please graph that on a number line. Okay. Press pause and graph that on the number line if you need more time. X is less than or equal to negative 1. What does that look like? Okay, I hope you tried it. Press pause if you need more time. I'm going to do it quickly now. So negative 2 is lesser than negative 1, so is negative 3, so is negative 4, all these numbers are. So is negative 1.5 and 2.5 and 3.5 and all the decimals in between. But less than or equal to negative 1, it could also be negative 1. So negative 1 is also included, all these numbers. So do we need a parenthesis or a square bracket? So less than or equal to means we use a square bracket. Okay.